thing on. We'll get him back on sometime in the next week or two. Uh, amazing prophetic uh, movie maker and author. We actually talked about this the other day on the weekend promoting his video that he's now made public. Uh, the um, the Last Trump, you know, basically that video, if you go to KenKleinProductions.net, you can actually watch that video, which is very good. It kind of like very simple, basic, uh, introduces the different kingdoms of the end of the age and really uh, some visions about what God's plan is. So I hope to get Gary Richard Arnold on uh, as a uh, alternative. We may try to get Dr. True, Dr. Um, John W. Spring on early, and we'll try to see if we can get him. So, yeah, I had trouble getting a hold of him yesterday, so I'm not sure what else is happening there. But we will uh, have him on. We do have a back contact to uh, Sebastian Gorka, who actually has a here on the network, who has direct contact with Trump. We also have contacts to uh, Bart Goldman, who's the co-author and founder of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Mo uh, Medicine, knows Ivanka Trump. So I emailed him last week, but I haven't heard back from him yet. He's got direct contacts to Ivanka. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> we need to get through to President Trump. I put together a video, which I'm posting up today, but it was posted up on the weekend. Uh, it talks about uh, grace, etc., and praying for the president, but it talks about virtually every problem the nation's facing and the world and a solution for it in, in a godly, constructive way. You know, one of the things that I saw in my news items that I reviewed this morning, which we posted up today, is they talked about can we do counseling to kind of get the left and right to come together. Well, I don't think so. The left is actually so far that if you disagree with them, they consider you kind of like an enemy. Uh, you know, if you're going to have dialogue, which I think everybody should have, you'd be, you'd be able to kind of work out issues and figure out what's going on. But this idea you can't uh, do that is uh, it's kind of crazy, to be honest with you. And, and I, where I see things going is, is society, I think, is reaching the point where it's uh, kind of breaking down. It's breaking down to the point where I, I don't think society as we know it is actually going to, uh, is going to make it. I honestly think that uh, uh, we have a society that's uh, going to require a, a godly transformation in order for it to kind of wake up, uh, isn't it? So we hope to have here shortly um, our, our amazing guests, and we will be uh, doing that here in just a moment. Uh, uh, let's see, wrong number we have here. Um, let's see, Gary Richard Arnold. Let me get you the number for Gary Richard Arnold. Uh, 831-283. Just a second now. Oh, oh, I got the wrong number. You're right. Uh, I got the number here again. Uh, 831 uh, when you're trying to multitask, sometimes it's difficult when you have a crisis that happens. And this is live radio, so this is what happens when you have live radio. Sometimes people say they've contacted you and they cancel at the last moment because they have a family crisis and things happen, and that's the nature of reality. Uh, there's this number. That'll be the correct number there now. Uh, that way we can get a hold of Gary. Gary should be available now. He's usually around in the afternoons, so he should be able to get a contact. We also keep trying John W. Spring. I'll put up uh, John W.'s uh, cell number for uh, for him as well. He might be uh, in T because he does a lot of personal care for his wife who's disabled. Uh, and I'll put that up as well so we'll get to see if we can get John W. on. We are working hard to get our documents and our whistleblowing through to President Trump. And we need to get through to him because... Well, uh, President Trump is negotiating trade agreements trying to bring Russia back into the G8. Russia has nukes in four countries at least. Uh, North Korea, Iran, Venezuela, and Nicaragua. And the letter we got on the 12th of September, which I prophesied in August, and that exact day we'd receive a letter back, is a sham. It basically obviously is the people around him. It looks like uh, Nikki Haley is actually accusing Tillerson, who was previously in the government, and Mr. Kelly, who was previously in the government, is actually trying to attack Trump from the side. So these are so-called pseudo-Republicans, and, and she's, they're trying to say, oh, no, we didn't. No, no, I believe Nikki Haley. She's kind of a pretty straightforward person. Uh, and uh, although she's kind of like pretty aggressive in the United Nations against these countries, which shows one aspect or one vector of what's going on, uh, this should do the trick. And uh, uh, we, will, uh, we will just see what happens there. Let's see. That, that number I gave there was for our special guest there, too, and we will also get a, get a number for... Um, and, uh, John W. Spring, which I will have over in just a second as well to my board op. Um, okay, good. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Cell number uh, four. Now, the, um, what I want people to understand is we're trying to connect all the dots, and I had a very long discussion today 
with Keisha Rogers. And, of course, uh, Lyndon Roosh understood that the need for a Bretton Woods Four Powers Agreement many years ago. He understood that the bankers were behind the illegal wars ever since at least the Napoleonic War. He realized that the global government run by people that are occultists, uh, like the Thule Society, the run Nazi Germany, and we actually transplanted them when we did a transplantation of our space program that really are the United for the no such agency and the CIA are actually transplants from Nazi Germany. So there's some mini series on uh, on Amazon about how, although we quote uh, the Germans lost the Second World War. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. He said ten minutes. Gary's going to be reading ten minutes. That's fine. I'm going to go over some of the uh, major news items I see. Uh, by the way, uh, Google is actually uh, searching through the records of 2,600 hospitals and uh, combing through the medical records without authorization for patients or doctors or health professionals. People have to understand the matrix is coming uh, next year, October 1st. Uh, the world ID, if in every country on earth you don't have biometrics, you can't travel or fly across state borders anywhere in the world. They want to eventually have not only their tracker chip or biometrics, as they say, being sarcastic, they can make a mandatory Velcro law so they have to put the chip in your cell phone and track you because if you don't have your cell phone Velcro to a body part, you're against the law and you'll get a year in jail. Ha ha, just being funny. But a lot of companies are actually pushing the chip and chipping the population. They can track your bones using terahertz scanning uh, at over 70 miles an hour if you're driving around the freeways inside the car. They can scan your iris scan or your retinal scan. They can scan your fingerprints or DNA biochip. I visited uh, 20 years ago Oak Ridge National Lab in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, working with Affirmetrics in Chicago. And they already had a chip that was at that time 42 cents that could analyze with DNA endonuclease your exact DNA structure and determine your haplotypes for organ transplantation and two other six-digit numbers uh, dealing with other genetic uh, issues, including inf- issues such as your location, et cetera, and other information they could track you. So uh, what you have to understand is the matrix is real. Uh, the primary node is in America. It's not overseas. There are overseas nodes of it in direct card in Indonesia, in Beijing, and in Moscow. Uh, the intel agencies in the world, although there seems to be a dialectic of conflict and chaos, at the very top they're all connected. They're connected through the Druidic Council of 13 that runs Earth and the banks. They're connected through uh, these agencies that regulate the Vatican, for example, runs the World Reserve, World Reserve System. It controls 90% of the world currency. 10% is controlled now by China. And there are affiliates in the parallel to the SWIFT system for overnight uh, transfer of money. But people have to understand they're moving very quickly toward the uh, mark of the beast system for the entire planet. And the agreement that it says in the Bible will be for 10 kings will bring agreement across nation states to trade zones for one hour published in 1973 in the Council on Foreign Relations Journal of the Foreign Affairs. So what I do is try to connect all the dots. So I see people like Akisha, which we'll have on Friday on Hour 2, and what you'll see is we're going to start, you'll start seeing the cross-connections that where this make all makes sense. So uh, that's what we're trying to do. We're the same thing with healthcare issues. We want you to understand you need signal plus substance. Uh, you need the right signal. Uh, as well as the generator fields like the Magi and specific epigenetic frequencies. You need the right building blocks like my Nutrimeds, Oncomycin, Red Deer Velvet, uh, Omega Supreme Pro, etc. Same thing in for, for the truth. You need this for your religious truth to understand the nature of the real nature of the gospel, not the false one that's being preached on many churches or the inc- incomplete one. You need to understand politics that when you move away from a godly culture, you can't have a republic without God in the center of it. So when you have people that become socialists or communists, you don't have a constitutional republic where you have autonomy and control. You have a totalitarian regime where people become caged in a cyber matrix, and especially with the new digital controls, it takes it over. So uh, that's what I see happening. And uh, right now we're moving toward either a period of conflict, where if we had a conflict, for example, in the last week, uh, North Korea has announced that they're going to... uh, enrich uranium to weapons grade. Israel at the same week has actually announced that they're going to attack the Bashir reactor, which means even during the last years of Barack Obama, we gave tankers to the Israelis so they could get all the way to the Bashir reactor and bring the jets back with airborne tankers. What people need to understand is that if we have a conflict with Iran and therefore with Russia, we're very likely to have thermonuclear intermediate range hypersonic cruise missiles next generation heading toward American cities either for an EMP attack in high atmosphere or an attack on military sites and population centers. Now, of course, they would be counterattacked by our advanced weapons, including space-based things like rods from God or Project Thor, 
uh, you know, space based uh, nuclear weapons and other technology. And people would have to understand this will be very destructive because we've weaponized the planet. There's five countries that have weather modification. We can do a thing called a tropospheric conversion that can drop the temperature at ground level 200 degrees. We also can trigger off earthquakes and volcanoes. So can the Russians. In fact, it was 12 years ago the Russians offered the Brazilians to stop a cyclone from striking Sao Paulo, Brazil. So you need to know this is not a theory. It's not like I would your opinion. Um, occasionally, and especially with the, with the uh, Monday show with Deborah Tavares, I have the occasional person that doesn't appreciate the addition of supporting science and connecting the dots. They need to know that I, want, I care for them and I want them to have a full range of information. Uh, Deborah's very good at documents of very poor and the scientific backing of what's causing the fires and how to stop them. Uh, I provide evidence to show that what she's saying is true, and you have to understand, if you don't like the way I present it, don't listen to the show. Now, if you listen to the show, you're going to save yourself a lot of pain because if you make bad decisions based on information that's inadequate, but it's only the rare one. We have huge numbers of people that listen to the program, and they appreciate the fact that at times I have to you pontificate or bring out information that corroborates the evidence we have from other guests. And that's important to understand that. It's important to understand that that's what's going on here. I think we soon maybe have, we'll have Gary Richard Arnold on. Let's see if, we, if he's available uh, to us. And, of course, keep trying uh, John W. Spring. I'm surprised that he somehow is not answering to either his cell phone or his other line there because you have both numbers now. Um, so we'll see, uh, see how we, we succeed there. Uh, the other issues that are going on, let me just scan up to uh, the news items right now. Uh, looking at it, we have, of course, uh, lots of stuff cooking. If you go right directly to Drudge, one of the best places is Drudge. Drudge is not always for, for Trump. Drudge is making up drudgy things that are, in, in, you know, talks about the Republican who helped Clinton impeachment is troublesome. Uh, Coulter, Trump must go. Uh, this is Ann Coulter. Ann Coulter, by the way, is a disinformation op. Uh, I happen to know some virgenesis behind her. So when Ann Coulter says this. She's part of the right-sided uh, counter-Trump movement that's tied to the globalists, okay? You have to understand. So when Coulter says that, she's another disinformation op. Now, Trump needs more better advice, and some of the advisors on Trump, he's had to fire, like Kelly, um, Tillerson, and many others, uh, and even uh, Nikki Haley, who did some things in the United Nations, made statements that were a little bit extreme. Now, Yes, we need to kind of tell what for to the Russians. In fact, we need to seize their bank accounts so they don't pull their damn weapons out of La Orchilla Island and Venezuela. We need to also make sure we actually blockade the oil from Iran and from from Venezuela. So that's what's going on there. I, I got a message. Let's see. Do we have our co-host ready to come on the program? Let's see. Uh, Gary. Gary, okay. Welcome back, Gary. Yeah, Hi. <laughs> Uh, you're a hard uh, guy to get a hold of. I don't know why. I tried to do you, your regular number and phone number. You should be able to answer yourself in case I need to get a hold of you urgently. What happened is my R2 guest didn't show. Uh, he had some kind of family crisis. But uh, you have a lot of information. Tomorrow is the big day where the maniacs like Adam Schiff, and by the way, the last two letters of his name, I replaced the two Fs with two Ts because that's what he's full of. We have Nancy Pelosi, and I've actually got pretty good evidence that she's involved with Pizzagate, so she's a pretty demonic witch. And she's crazy because... Rather than passing you know, legislation for USMC to help Mexico, Canada, and America, passing drug regulations to cut costs of drugs and getting infrastructure, she's you know, magnificently out of her mind wanting impeachment. And you know, why don't they just try to put good policies together if they figure they have somebody to replace Trump? They don't. They have nothing. They, as Al Green says, we're going to talk with Keisha Rogers on Friday, hour two. If we don't impeach Trump, he's going to get reelected, of course. And I believe it'll blow up in their face just like the Mueller gate uh, things, when Mueller didn't even understand the things in his own document. They just put his name on it, didn't they? So when we come uh, back, yeah. we're going to hear from you. Gary, you're going to be on for the next couple segments. Stay tuned. We've got Gary Richard Arnold of news-expose.org. Do you have difficulty taking supplements? Are you searching for a high-quality, complete nutritional drink that your whole family will love? Nutramedical's Life Support has arrived. All of your daily nutritional requirements in one quick, delicious drink. Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support is a proprietary blend of vegan protein, activated vitamins, essential minerals, amino acids, probiotics, green tea, digestive enzymes, anti-inflammatories, cancer prevention, detoxification, and much more. Your body will high-five you for this one. Life Support is the best complete nutritional 
delicious meal replacement on the market. Whether you are an elite athlete, have post-operative challenges, chronic illness, elderly, or a family that just wants a quick, delicious drink, try Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support for optimized nutrition in one great-tasting smoothie. Just add cold water, almond milk, fruit, or anything else you like. Nutramedical's Life Support. Try our great-tasting chocolate or vanilla today. Call 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Nutramedical.com for the whole family. Legacy Emergency Foods is the top recommendation from Dr. Bill Deagle for the lowest oxygen concentration, the largest entrees, the highest amount of protein, the most varied entrees as well, and the longest food storage life. Nothing like Legacy Emergency Foods, and if you place a regular monthly order, you get 20% off and free shipping. Do get emergency foods for your supply for preparation and get it from Legacy Foods. Contact Dr. Bill Deagle for the link at Nutramedical.com. Go to the Shop by Products link and drop down message at Nutramedical.com and then place your orders for regular emergency food for yourself and your family. Nothing like emergency food if the power goes out and you can't go to grocery stores or if there's an emergency or a national crisis. So Nutramedical.com, top recommendation, Legacy Foods. Nutramedical.com, go to the Shop by Products and drop down menu and stay well with Nutramedical every day of your life. Lumen Photon Therapy, infrared light, far and near infrared is extremely important for pain control, simulation of nitric oxide, improved perfusion, and stem cell activation and reduction of cytokines. Dr. Bill uses it for pain control, for regeneration techniques, for organ regeneration, and for stimulation of your stem cell activity. Uh, this amazing uh, Lumen Photon Therapy this year will probably have an additional device with frequency therapy during the on phase of the lights. To obtain a Lumen Photon machine, contact Dr. Bill at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871. He'll prescribe it with you, providing nutraceuticals to help with your regeneration, healing, and pain control. Nothing like the Lumen Photon Therapy for uh, easy therapy for your eyes, your pain, your joints, regeneration of organs, detoxification of the body. Get a Lumen Photon machine from Dr. Bill Deagle, Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871. To stay well with Nutramedical. The Sonic Life Machine is one of the most amazing therapies that Dr. Bell provides. It is the best sine wave exercise machine on the planet, doing whole body vibration, opening up the muscle to reduce insulin resistance, improve perfusion, release stem cell therapy throughout the body, and epigenetically stimulate the body to release DNA activated. Uh, the epigenetic therapy with the uh, sine wave curve of frequencies given for atomic resonance by Linus Pauling for minerals and amino acids stimulates the production of messenger RNA to correct structural protein enzyme deficiency for almost every illness. There's nothing like the sine wave therapy for improving body healing for exercise, but also the epigenetic treatments Dr. Bell can provide can help neutralize frequencies for disease states and illness. Get a Sonic Life machine through Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com. Contact us at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871, or go to the website Nutramedical and give us a contact. Dr. Bill is available to help you get well with Nutramedical. Need a powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens? Allison Med is the powerful universal pathogen killer's latest advance of German-sourced Allison, enzymatically stabilized to clear the body of bacteria, fungi, mycobacteria, and parasites. It penetrates body biofilms and is non-toxic to tissues. Pathogen resistance cannot develop for long-term body-optimized wellness. Clear stealth pathogens that promote autoimmune disease, cancer, and vascular inflammation and plaque and promote healing of tissues. Now pathogen-free. With 200 milligrams more power than prior Alamed, you can't get a more powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens. Give your body what it needs. Allison Med. Order Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutridine at 888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. That's 1-888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. And listen to the Nutramedical Report on the Genesis Radio Network with open lines every weekday. Nutramedical.com, bringing nutrition and medicine together. Down there that are the fifth column. There's a picture and a district. Yeah, I see the sham list here. You got, oh, yeah, you got a whole pile. I see. Shelly Moore, Capito, Susan Collins, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Susan People Marcy, need Sally. to know and tell their friends that live in those districts, don't give them a dime, don't give the National Committee Yeah, I got a it. Dime. We'll go through the names, too. Yeah. And we're going live with Gary Richard Arnold now. I have an article here. If you go to news-expose.org, 
The first article on your left-hand side is one called CIA Phony Republicans, Mainstream Republicans. Now, you've got a list here, and I want to go through the list so people will get it audibly. If you read this article, I think you actually should print it like you said, and you look at this article list and you scroll down the page and you'll see the idiot, Beto O'Rourke, with two thumbs up and they want to seize guns now. I work with the military for four and a half decades, and I can tell you, I don't know any sheriffs, military, even SEALs, that will start trying to take systematically weapons away from law-abiding American citizens. First off, the first people they do, they're going to get to the guns. The second people and third, they're going to die. We'll kill them so fast they won't know they ever had a skin or a pulse. So if you think out there your military are really tough, American citizens are tougher, and we use technology you don't even know coming. You won't have any warning. You won't hear a pop from a gun. It'll be other technology. So you need to all know that. We're not just threatening you. We're guaranteeing you. You want to try to take our guns? You're going to die doing it. It will be a civil war that will end up really quickly. Well, now, if, we have people, a if, Republican. if people go to that site right now, they can look at pictures. Yeah, I want, I want to go through the list here. it looks like, you know, at, at the minimum, political bedfellows, but, it, you know, their romance and their smiles <clears> and their... They're hugging and their glances. Yeah, you got to tell you that there. the CIA Republican Will Willie Hoard heard or uh, Will heard was ten years in the CIA before he ran for the seat. And we've got a map. If you go to that website that covers yeah, that, that's the guy was sitting there with Beto O'Rourke, Mexico, Cal- you know, uh, U.S. border. He right. Was, well, I, uh, he, let me stop here for a second. That guy Willie Hurd. Yeah. is sitting there with his thumbs up right beside Beetle Rook with his thumb up, and they're basically smirking their face off about how they got their scheme going. Don't send money to any of these morons. Now, I'm going to go through the list, and I want you to respond to each one if you want to add some data. First one right on the side is Senator Shelley Moore Capito. Second is Susan, Senator Susan Collins, Maine. Senator Martha McSally, Arizona. Senator yeah, Arizona, Todd, Arizona, yeah, Arizona Todd should be Young. able to kick her butt out there uh, with a snap of a finger. Don't give her a dime. And by the way, the alternative senator that actually moved in there, she's another nutball, but she's a Democrat. Then we've got Representative Don Bacon, New England. We've got Nebraska, I mean. We've got Representative Troy Balderson, Ohio. Ohio? We, yeah, we, we need to name re- these people. If you have relatives right. in these particular districts, call your friends, print out. If you go to the, uh, the website, you can print, yeah, print it all out. out and stop this fifth column of Republicans that are working. Right. For the these, are, these are these are these are okay. Let me finish the list here. Representative Mike Boust, B O S T, Illinois, twelfth district. Representative Susan Brooks, Indiana, fifth district. We've got Representative John Curtis, Utah, third district. Representative Mario Diaz Balart, another monster. I know about him from Florida. Representative Tom Emer, uh, Minnesota, district six. Representative Brian Fitzpatrick, Pennsylvania District 1. Representative Jeffrey uh, Fortenberg, Nebraska Zero, uh, District 1. Representative Mike Gallagher, Wisconsin uh, District 8. Representative Bob Gibbs, uh, Ohio District 7. Representative Let me Anthony you Gonzalez. Right now, just for a minute. These are states where there's good, decent people that figure the way against a socialist New World Order is to vote for the Republicans. These are the fifth columnist uh, Republicans that belong to the Ripon and Main Street Republicans. They're Rockefeller. They're dedicated to the inside of the Washington belt. They're right. dedicated to K Street. They're dedicated to the foundations. Right. They're, they're, they're anti-American. And it's, they, like, it's like, it's like they Romney as well. the Republicans into voting for them. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's the other one. Uh, so, yeah, and so the next one is Republican, uh, Representative Anthony Gonzalez, Ohio. We had Representative Bob Gibbs of Ohio District 7. You go, the list keeps on going. I can't believe there's a lot. Representative Jennifer Gonzalez, uh, Colon, uh, Alabama. Uh, Representative Jamie Her- Herrera Butler in uh, Washington. Representative Bill uh, Hunzenga, Michigan. Representative Will Hurd of Texas. Well, I've heard Will, Will Hurd. Will Hurd. Well, actually, heard. I saw Will Hurd actually on uh, Fox News the other day, and he was making the most weird statements about the so-called intentions of Trump about the uh, the dossier and everything about this uh, Ukraine gate. I'm thinking this guy is 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 not even a good liar. I mean, these are part of the liocracy, aren't they? 
10 years CIA, he jumps out and, and, and takes the Republican congressional district with the largest uh, Mexico-American border. This right. is so set up. This is such a fraud, and people need to get ready, uh, both well, well, physically, we, we, mentally, and, and, and need alternative funny, candidates. son of a bitches. We need alternative candidates to move get in the Republican Party because, you see, Trump's not just dealing with the demon rats on the Democratic side. He's dealing with devils on the Republican side, too, like uh, Romney. I'm going to continue the list. Representative Dusty Johnson of South Dakota, Representative Bill Johnson of Ohio, Representative David Joyce of Ohio, Representative John K Katko of New York, uh, Representative Mike Kelly of Pennsylvania, Representative Peter King of New York, Representative Adam Quinzega, uh, Gonzaga of Illinois, and Representative Roger Marshall of Kansas. Amazing. Representative John uh, Mulinar of Michigan, Representative Dan Newhouse of Washington, Representative w, John, Tom W. Reed of New York, Representative Guy Reshen uh, Thaler of Pennsylvania. This goes on. Representative John Rutherford of Florida, Representative Mike Simpson of Indiana, Representative Lloyd Schmucker of Pennsylvania, Representative Peace Stauber of Minnesota, uh, Representative Fred Upton of Michigan, Representative Greg Walden of Oregon, Representative Michael Waltz of Florida, Representative Steve Watkins of Kansas, and the last one is Representative Lee Zeldin, and Lee Zeldin's another maniac of New York. I mean, it's just, and then we talk about the deep state exposing, and of course they can contact you directly, but it's news-expose.org, and I'll have all of this posted up. What people need to understand, this is not a theory. Each one of these, you've got pictures of them smiling, smirking, hugging, collaborating, even their history of where they've been, like the CIA, and it's no wonder they come out with statements like this guy heard about Trump. This is disgusting. And, of course, these open hearings run by Adam Schiff are not constitutionally correct, even legally. There's no defense for, the, for Donald Trump or even the Republicans. The way they're managing this is completely illegal. This would be even considered almost extreme, even in a Soviet republic or China. This oh, is this, how nuts uh, it is. This is, frankly, sedition. This is one of the most important programs you've, you've ever had because you named the culprits, those there's a handful well, in there that have been conned and uh, you well, know moved I, I, along, uh, but there's a whole lot of deliberate. I got, I got, no, I, they're killing our constitution for well, a globalist a, network. I, I have a 35-minute video, and at the first frame of it, it shows Trump as Superman. Now he needs help with few people like you and me. We need to have backdoor video or secure line contact with Trump because he's got bad advisors like Tillerson and Kelly, who Nikki Haley has actually fingered, and others have actually fingered or actually trying to manipulate from the inside to attack Trump. Now, these people that we made in the list here, this is not open to opinion. This is just facts. You've got their history. You know who they are. And there's a long list, man. I'm, uh, that took me a long time to go through the list. What people need to understand is it's not surprising that Trump's under But the danger here is that the republic fails because they try to reverse not only the 2016 election, but they actually stole the House by continuing what we call uh, uh, Muellergate. And when Mueller was actually in the in the docket seat answering questions, he didn't even know what was in the, in the document because he didn't answer it. He didn't know him was in it. It shows it was just all a scam. It was scamtastic, I call it. Oh, and he was knew. already addled. He didn't know Chief PS Fusion or, you know. Well, yeah, he had no idea. Another. I mean, he, it, you know, he was shoved out there after he was either, you know, brainwashed or drugged or addled or. Well, you can uh, tell from his uh, response. Package. I, I developed back when I was a medical school residency over 40 some years ago a mini and mental status exam for mental illness and dementia. And let me tell you, just observing him, the man is showing certain signs of dementia and incapable of putting connecting thoughts together. The fact that they put him up there because of his history, and remember, he was involved with the cover up of 9 11, he was involved with Europe Crane Gate, he was involved with the massacre in Libya and the destruction of Muammar Gaddafi. People need to understand this guy. Well, uh, BCCI and the anthrax and all the rest of the stuff. Right. This exactly. guy was totally on the other side. And if people want to understand how masses are manipulated, uh, pick up the book called Tavistock by uh, Daniel Estelon. They can get it right. under Trine Day, under suppressed books. Um, the world, you know, we're not in Kansas anymore, right. nor had we ever been. You're, you're, by Tavistock, you're referring to the Tavistock Institute in Britain, right? Ab absolutely. And, and okay, let me, let me give you a little history of Tavistock. World War I, for the, all, all the poor people that were, you know, sucked into that war, 
uh, that were <clears throat> suffered from uh, bomb shock or shell shock. Yeah, but or- let me fill you in with some tech details. First, in Tavistock, they started doing research. Their first successful electrode implants in various nuclei of the brain to control behavior was 1947. They started to work with the University of Bethesda, Maryland, and other universities like in Illinois and across the West Coast with University of California, Irvine. And they were doing work on mind control and uh, the, the project we call Monarch, which is working with the Disney Corporation. They came out of their Monarch project, etc. All of these projects were mind control yeah, that, and brain that, interface. That included Tom Braden, who was a part of Operation Monarch, whom I was on the air with uh, Pat Buchanan and Tom Braden, uh, actually, who had a wife, they had an open marriage, and he shared his wife with Kissinger and a whole bunch of other people, but that's irrelevant. Right. Um, uh, Tom Braden was active in suppressing and promoting, uh, after World War II, organizations that would support e- the European Union, and right. those that were nationalistic uh, were attacked and destroyed. And right. uh, it, it's, it's really evil. <laughs> Uh, it, yeah, and it, it you're kidding. You're, you're, you're kidding. It's evil. Are you kidding me? My you gosh, that's a terrible thing You can still find that Crossfire interview on YouTube unless they've knocked it out within the last month or two. But they're, they're active uh, cleansing. They're ready for a revolution well, uh, here. Yeah, well, uh, uh, they're here's moving what's... on it right now. Protect yourself and your family. Have some defense. Have some food. Uh, mostly... Get some books so you have some knowledge of what this, what, what's going on. Learn about the Bilderbergers and the CFR and the Trilateral Commission and uh, these phony fifth columnists under the Ripon and uh, uh, mainstream Republicans. Though, you know, the people on your own side, it's the et tu, Brute. It's the ones you think that are on your side that are, you know, cutting your neck. It's the Condoleezza Rices and, and the Ed Schultz and, the, you know, or, or, or George Pratt Schultz. You've got to look for your own side to protect it. There's a, you know, right. there's a lot of, you know, we have a lot of fellow uh, supporters, including across the political spectrum, including some of the left, that, uh, that both, of, both sides need to stop for a minute, uh, that Allegheny... Uh, college that's that's mentioned in this you know uh, particular article, Ira uh, Tarbell uh, came from Allegheny College. Allegheny College today is just a uh, operation for the world government, and they gave the civics uh, uh, award, uh, c- civility in public life, to both Will Hurd, the CIA guy, and Beto O'Rourke who wants to take away your arms by force, was given by Allegheny College civility in public life. Actually, Ida Tarbell came from that particular college. Ida Tarbell did an expose on Standard Oil and that was as good as anything Gary Allen could put out. In fact, right. the NRA was formed in order to protect the blacks uh, you know, from from the you know the radicals. Um, the other person that came from there was uh, Clarence Darrow. Clarence Darrow uh, yeah. ended up you know fighting for you know the radicals and the revolutionaries and the murderers. Yeah, uh, uh, what was it? Well, just like uh, right now, the uh, Leopold uh, and Loeb, who uh, wanted to just kill somebody for the pleasure of it, and he was their supporter. So you know, there are people out of that college that were both. I had good intentions and the most evil. And uh, anyway, that college <laughs> ended up giving the CIA guy, come, come on and tell me they're not part of this uh, uh, The intel agencies are managing order. it. But, yeah, yeah, I remember all the, let me finish, the intel agencies are all connected through the Thule Society that's called Project Omega. Conceived by the Nazi tools in 1933, and when we so-called, we lost the war because the Thule Society not only was the space program, was the nice for our intel agencies, including Project Omega, completed by George Bush Sr., and uh, which is now the NIDAS for the no such agency in the CIA that managed the connection to every other intel agency on the earth, and they're all occultic. They're all evil. And people don't know that. They don't realize that we're heading toward a new world order. Uh, that's why next year, October 1st, the biometric ID comes out, which you, if you don't have it, you can't travel across state lines in any country on earth. You have to understand they're getting ready. 
Google is managing 2,600 uh, hospitals and all the patients there managing their data. Yeah, now the person that founded uh, the mainstream Republicans was Amory Houghton Jr. He's worth like about a half a billion dollars. Right. And he founded the Republican Mainstream Partnership. And if they go to the website, they'll see the areas across the United States in red in which they control. What that needs is a super imposition right. of the uh, equally evil uh, Ripon Society that was founded by right, not, Rockefeller so, the very day JFK was killed by the deep state. Right, well, that's why we have some of these people coming forward like Taylor and others against Trump, they're supposedly in different departments of the government about uh, Ukraine gate. And the fact is, he doesn't just have the demon rats to deal with, he has these evil Republicans and there's both sold out intel agencies running everything too. When we come back, we're going to continue with uh, Dr. <laughs> with <laughs> Dr. Doctor of Knowledge of Wisdom, Gary Richard Arnold at news-expose.org. you got to visit there. Pull up these articles and read them. Oh, my gosh, and weep and act. Are you still looking for that one iodine that you can really trust? A medical doctor-endorsed product that is backed by honest research and true integrative science. Then search no further. Go to Nutramedical.com for Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutriodine, proven time and time again to be the very best iodine available for you. Nutriodine is the only Tesla-activated monatomic plasma iodine in the world. It optimizes mitochondrial function and generation of new mitochondria from totally neutralizing the venom from a desert recluse spider bite in Southern California to eliminating malaria parasites reported by medical missionaries in Central India. Dr. Bill's Nutriodine is simply the most powerful healing formula there is. Nutriodine clears the body of all known pathogens restores it to an alkaline state, and even promotes stem cell regeneration. Order Dr. Bill's new triodine today at 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Red Deer Velvet DR is an amazing new product with a patent to preserve 300 biomolecules and six hormones, same as fetal life, where you don't age at all. The state of fetal life allows the 300 biomolecules and six hormones produced by the placenta to be supportive of the regeneration uh, of tissues and organs with maximum apoptosis, uh, changing the tissue and organ structure of a fetus. That's why if fetal surgery is performed, there is no scar. Taking uh, two to three capsules twice a day with oncomycin, myco D2, uh, provides an amazing support for regeneration of any tissue and organ in the body and even advanced stem cell therapy support treatment. Do uh, get Nutramedical's Red Deer Velvet DR from Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com, N-U-T-R-I Medical.com, 888-212-8871. Stay well and stay young with Nutramedical. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Deagle, MD, A-A-E-M, A-C-A-M, A-4-M, of Nutramedical.com and a consultant providing email advice free on advanced protocols for your optimized wellness and advanced technologies to heal and regenerate you. You can contact us at Nutramedical.com, that's N-U-T-R-I Medical.com, or 888-212-8871. You get free email starter protocols of our top medical-grade nutraceuticals, initial testing, and recommendations for your own primary doctor to do, as well as recommendations to give you an idea of a consultation and a full protocol to try to help you regenerate your tissues, heal naturally without the use of toxic polypharmacy. I can send test kits to you as well anywhere in the world and provide you recommendations for referral of specialty clinics worldwide. So contact me, Dr. Bill Deagle, at Nutramedical.com. That's N-U-T-R-I medical.com or 888-212-8871. At Nutramedical.com, we have the most amazing drinks with the best both feel, highest quality bionutrient uh, exposure to your body to heal and regenerate, and the uh, most powerful persistence of nutrients to heal your body dramatically. We have Ageless, which makes you age less, which repairs your DNA, extends your telomeres, etc., we have life support that detoxes phase two detox pathways, glucuronidation, sulfation, and methylation pathway support. We have glycemics that blocks the carbohydrate absorption and helps with diabetes or weight loss, and as well helps with people that are trying to build up muscle using things like our um, special formulas from Dr. Wolf called Mega Muscles Between Meals along with Sports Energy Light. We have the amazing Nutri Complete, the most complete red and green drink in the world 
with the best mouthfeel and flavor. You can often mix it too with Vitamin Mineral Mix, which is our fruit flavored mix power of vitamin minerals. Stay well with Nutramedical Air. We have both on W Spring on a little early, and Gary Richard Arnold is usually on Friday, uh, Thursday on the second hour. Uh, I managed to make a contact through Sebastian Gorka uh, to Trump uh, indirectly. He's one of their main co-hosts here on CRN Talk Radio of Los Angeles. We also got a contact through Bart Goldman, who's a co-founder of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, and knows uh, Ivanka Trump uh, directly. And so we have several contacts now getting directly through. So we're soon made, made, able to make a breakthrough to have direct contact of our co-hosts like uh, John W. Spring, Gary Richard Arnold, myself and others that need to get intel through to Trump because he's making misjudgments based on incorrect or manipulative information from fake and false Republicans and false people around like for example Nikki Haley recently just accused Tillerson and Kelly of trying to attack Trump indirectly. Uh, we see that happening. We see people inside the White House that are supposedly Republicans that aren't supporting Trump at all. And Trump just needs good information because he's operating in the presidency like a game show and listens to the fourth contestant. And if they sound good, even though he doesn't have expertise in that area, and they have a need to know basis, they're not providing them all the good intel. And all these fake so called Republicans, besides the demon rats, the Democrats, they're not only attacking the presidency and the office of the presidency for future presidents, but also the operation of the government. They're paralyzing it. So we're not dealing with reduced drug prices, USMC. Uh, the, the border, or basically many issues, are not been have been paralyzed since the host was taken over because they extended Mueller Gate and lost the host to the maniac uh, and out of her mind a witch, uh, Nancy Pelosi. Uh, so, Gary, I want you to continue for a moment, and I want uh, I want John W to insert comments if he needs to. So we're going to have him on for the next full hour. Um, Gary, you know where's this going? I mean, tomorrow they start the show play of of so-called public testimony. I think, this is my recommendations in my video I did called, you know, Grace, etc., that you can find on my YouTube channel that I did just over the weekend. Trump needs to actually declare a state of national emergency. He needs to actually start shutting down media and putting people like Adam Schiff into jail. They need to be removed from politics and removed from the public spectrum. We need to have a, a situation where if we have Democrats that want to dialogue, that's fine, but we don't. We have Democrats that want to obstruct not pass legislation, and want to accuse the president of doing something that's required by law, that if you're a president or the executive office, you have to make sure the company, country you're Goodbye. dealing giving money to is not abusing it by doing corruption. Now, if there happens to be a political benefit, which I don't really think there is, because to be honest with you, I don't think Biden is going anywhere. I think what I see happening is the other Democrats, none of them are electable. The policies they have are so unelectable. If I was advising Democrats, I would give them a half a dozen things that they should do which they don't. They don't give a damn. They only want power even if they're going to destroy the country and kill people. They really don't give a crap. They're so out of their mind, so power hungry, they don't care if they even do something right for the American people and for our country or our economy. They want power, even if it destroys America. So your comments, Gary, and then we're going to have John W. on for the next hour as well. So, Yeah, um, when, when, when you look at uh, my reference to you know the fifth column, um, you know, which was... Uh, I guess coined during the, the Spanish Civil War, where the you know the communists were the fifth column, uh, looking right. like they were part of the you know patriotic uh, uh, Spaniards. I, I, I also saw a clip today that uh, uh, Spain is moving more and more towards nationalism uh, than than before. But when you look at uh, at the beginning of my Republican mainstream, you know, partnership, which was founded by an heir for skull and bones, um, I've got at the right hand side uh, a quote uh, from the Ides of March. It says people right. are losing the spirit of the Ides of March, not just about stabbing; it's about coming together and stab in groups. And of course, that's what we actually see against. Uh, you know, our president. Um, we go back, and this is something uh, the, the listeners can do right now. And uh, they need to uh, gear up by themselves, or if they want to take somebody in with them that agrees with them, go address those series of people that you mentioned, probably about 30 or so. Um, 
tell them that they will not get any money. Uh, they conned them. Hey, by by uh, the way, this list that you gave here is only a view only. You need to send me the link so we can actually download it and print it. You can't do anything other than viewing it. Okay. So it should, whatever it you should. did technically does not allow me to cut and paste it over to my site or anybody else to print it. It doesn't allow it. only allows you to view it. Okay. Let me yeah, know. Yeah, so you can to fix that, okay? If I'm being interfered with, this is... This well, if you need, a, you need a tech helper like my guy articles. Simon, like my guy Simon Tigerson, you need a tech person because obviously you're technologically challenged because it says view only. You can't actually download it, copy and paste it into the body of another document like mine that's got security protection. So they can attack your site and shut it down. They can't attack mine. I got high enough security; it can't be destroyed. But I can't even cut and paste this over to my site. Okay, so email me again so I can contact him. But send no money to the Republican National Committee, which comes right. out, you know, every other you know, three or four weeks, and it's got Ivana and Trump and Trump himself, and they they, they can't really hardly not support them, you know. <laughs> uh, but don't send them the money. Your donations right, so should go to one. Freedom Caucus, uh, to personal committees of people uh, that support Trump and only to those who know they will distance themselves from Republican globalists. But if they go into these offices and say, you know, quit, get out of the rip-on society if you've been conned, or the mainstream Republicans, I mean, these are right. basically Rockefeller globalists. Uh, they're the right. social. Well, it's like people like, uh, Rom like Romney, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, although I'm not sure you're going to be able to bend him because he's really embedded in, in, into the network of uh, the globalist well, conspiracy. Well, you know, you the Mormon Bain, Church itself you know, is completely... and the other outfits he's involved with. You well, look let, at let that, me add uh, a comment here, important, uh, Gary. Uh, the... Uh, the Mormon Church in the 1940s was rescued by the Rothschilds because they went bankrupt because of their sugar operations in Hawaii. And so the Rothschilds and the Mormon Church at the top are connected like, you know, Siamese twins. People need to know that, right? Yeah, no, I, I, I think that that's literally true of everybody, from the Catholics to the Zion, you know, Zionists and the Jews and uh, the Methodists for Social Action was the first Communist front. Uh, you had the Dallas brothers, John Foster Dallas, the head of the World right. Council of Churches. Today you've got uh, um, the purpose-driven churches by uh, Russ. Uh, I can't think of his last name right now. Um, but he's a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. He's a member of the app in California, right? Yeah, yeah. He's in Southern Southern California. and uh, Saddleback Church, I think it's called, right? You, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Russ Warren, I think his name is, or something close to that. Mm -hmm. um, and, right. you know, they, they've, they've got, you know, you go into their churches and they'll give you sermons that have made me <laughs> uh, drop tears. I mean, they, you know, I mean, it's very, very sophisticated. And um, hey, they don't fool a, me. I mean, I'm, I'm bulletproof to, to, to spiritual of, BS. Uh, I'm bulletproof to spiritual BS. The problem is I can't go to these churches because I, I start to cringe as soon as I go to them. And I cause trouble because I raise questions they don't want to answer, right? Yeah. Well, in, in fact, what's surprising to me, and I went uh, this last weekend because, you know, normally I just hang out and you know, work through uh, information I have. And I thought, yeah, I, I need to get out some more. So anyway, right. I went to the local Unitarian church. Um, right. the Unitarian Church, uh, years ago, I went to in Santa Monica, too, uh, because right. that was where uh, Armand Hammer, the son of the founder of the Communist Party in the U.S., and, uh, you know, it turned out after the Venona Papers came out that he was KGB, was an attendee of the Santa Monica Unitarian Church. Wow. Um, when I was there, uh, I went a couple of times to, you know, get information. Um, I saw an organist there, really sweet, beautiful woman, and she was walking, you know, down the aisle before she went to the organ, and there was uh, sunlight coming through the stained glass windows, and it was like, <laughs> uh, it, it looked like a uh, you know, something Hollywood would create. But anyway, I, I, I dated her for a short time, and, you know, anyway, we, you know, we didn't 
talk too much about you know uh, uh, politics and stuff. And of course, I didn't disclose myself as right. what I was wanting to do. But you know, uh, she was decent. She was not evil. She was not. Uh, she thought that you know world government would probably be the solution you know for mankind's peace and so forth. That, that's because people are brainless i mean honestly yeah. they and, and she, was, she was not part of the evil arm and yeah, no 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 problem. they are part of it let, let me let me disagree with you okay sure. uh, the, the the basic definition is the genesis three of evil doing what is right in your own eyes most people including the shriners that have a little shrine hat on their head and they have a shrine house which i think is good it does a lot of good for these little disabled kids they're doers of good but you got to understand the very definition of evil, even if you're good intentions, you're an organist, et cetera, and you're completely ignorant, you're still doing evil because you're not doing the will of God. By the definition, you're doing evil, including supporting it. So the problem I have is we call uh, milk and cookies Christianity churches, fake, false uh, Judaic churches following the Sephid Zion and the Talmud of Babylon, fake uh, so-called socialists like Bernie Sander Claus, an ex-Jew who's a communist who has his his, uh, his his marriage kind of ceremonies afterwards in the Soviet Union before it fell. People need to realize these people are doers of evil. By definition, if it's not God's will, it's evil. So even if they're nice people, there's nicer people than me going to hell, going to be annihilated because they're not doing God's will. They're doing what is right. Oh, global government's going to be good. Or they're millennials that went to college and they think that it's a good idea to have socialism because they're bankrupt or their friends are bankrupt because they have giant student loans. Make education affordable, okay? Well, you look at Make health care affordable. The, the idea, let me finish. The idea here, let me finish. It's important to finish, okay? The important idea here is we need to stop making excuses for people to do stupid or damaging or destructive things because they're nice people. If people are ignorant, they're part of the problem. Americans that support, for example, Veterans Day and shoving more Americans into harm's way rather than using war to actually annihilate, say, the drug cartels, and people in Afghanistan, we put them in places where we don't give them proper level three body armor, armored personnel vehicles that'll protect them so their legs aren't blown off. We put them in harm's way where we don't go and take out the enemy. We screw around with them or make deals like the Taliban so we can get our illegal drugs back to America and sell it to our population for two trillion dollars so that we can do illegal projects like Bechdel and underground cities. Well, what people need to understand is those who are ignorant, like this organist, those who think that they're supporting. You know, Republicans are supporting these maniacs. Even if they're nice people, they're still doers of evil. That's the problem. It's God's definition, not Deagle's, that evil is doing anything other than God's will, even if you're a nice person. Does that make sense? Yeah. I have a, a yeah. little bit Scary, of isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think a lot of these people, whether they were on farms on the prairie where they had no access to, you know, anything the founders had. Um, yeah. That some of what uh, was called common sense was actually good sense. I don't believe in common sense. Yeah, common, common sense, sense isn't very common. It's not good sense. It's, it's uncommon. Uh, we'll be back in two days, Gary, with another full hour for you. Coming up with John W. Spring, we got lots to talk about with Sebastian Gorka and our contacts through Bart Goldman of A4M, directly through to the POTUS.